Hello everyone, we're back and it is of course the Campaign of the Greek States. Now, for those of you who are not aware, what's going on is Macedon is being played by the mighty General Cucumber and I'm playing as the Spartan. No, hang on, I hadn't introduced you yet, so he's getting ahead of himself. God, I don't know. Anyway, and I'm playing Sparta. So yeah, he is keen to get in there and stab some of the locals. So, good evening, Cucumber. Hello. He can speak. What are the odds? <laughs> right. He speaks. Yes. Right, so. Hello. hello I'm Cucumber. Right, so um, what recently had occurred is that I had gone over and twatted some island belonging to somebody. I can't remember where it was. Oh, it's over here, Rhodes. So. Yes. We are now the Colossuses at Rhodes, or the Colossi, sorry. Battle. Got to make sure we get our collections correct. And now, um, that means as I've got that Colossus there, that should give me a bit of advantage because of the province yes. effect of having old sugar bridges, Mr. Colossus of Rhodes, plus two tariff from income from trade, and plus one fleet capacity, which is good stuff. That's nice. Indeed it is. And let's see... The Sardis, the Sardines are on their way. That's a thesis. So anyway, they have quite a few territories, don't they? Yeah. They do indeed. Now, so you can see essentially, uh, as we look on the map, um, I've taken over basically Athens and I've got Sparta, and you can see that our colleague in Macedonia now holds all of Macedonia and all of Thracia. So now, essentially, I think what it is is we're kind of agreeing, is that you know one goes up, one goes down, so to speak, if you pardon the expression. Yes. Um, and so we're kind of sort of working towards that effort. I'm wondering if it's worth... Do you reckon it's worth pissing off the Cichluids? Not quite yet, anyway. I think we should con conquer, conquer the Sardes. Are they a client state? I think they are, actually. The Sardes? But anyway, we basically take Asia first. Mm. I'll help you with that. So then we both have two provinces. Mm -hmm. And then we can sort of cross the bridge, the next bridge, when it comes to it. Yeah, or blow it up or whatever. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. so, I mean, the thing is... See, so if we look at this, right, you've got that region there, you've got Asia, mm -hmm. which is made up of three regions, and then you've got Cilicia, which is next to it, which is made up of two other regions, but one of them is three. It's three, just you can't see one. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Oh, yeah, it's... Um, it's got the island of um, Cyprus included in Cilicia. Yeah. Cilicia. No, is that Cyprus? Okay, all right. All right, yep. Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't know, I'm, you know, I'm not geographically minded, as you well know. Anyway, um, so if we have a look, are we going to start working up towards Illyria and Dacia? Or I think my next start port of call would be Illyria. You so reckon? I think I'll, focus my, I'll turn my land forces towards Illyria, mm -hmm. and I'll start building up a actually decent navy to aid you with the conquest of Asia. I'm wondering if it's worth trying to take Syracuse, because I, I took them in my Rome campaign, and it means it will be on the foot of Italy, and it will give us a running possibly to going in and dealing with Carthage and the Etruscan League. What do you reckon? It's up to you. Uh, I suppose because you've got you've got um, roads as well, but so that will co that constantly deteriorate because it's an incomplete province. Oh really? Until you finish it, I think so. Until I finish what? It's, sorry. It's a hassle to look after one that, an incomplete province anyway. Oops. Yeah. So that will be so, means I need to get Pergamon which is Asia, so yes. I suppose really I should take Asia and... You could, you could go for either, I mean, you just have to put a few more happiness buildings in roads to keep and it And then Pesneus, or whatever they're called, the Siders. So, you... Yeah, I, I mean... See, yeah. And then you could work on places like Nicomedia, up up top, nearby where you've got Anthea and Odysseus, sort of just over into the Asia, that is. Uh, yeah, I see. Yeah, I thought we were, we agreed that we'd split it, so I got everything sort of north, well, anything north of Magna Graecia. Yeah, and then yeah I mean, the thing is, I, I don't mind. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, what I'm thinking is if I take Pergamum and Pessinus, then that gives me that entire region, so I've got an entire region that I can manage. I don't know what your thoughts are on that, mate. I mean, um, I'm... I was I'm, thinking we, we split it sort of along here. Yeah. You can see the green line along... Yeah. Uh, whoops, up there. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense, yeah. And then, obviously, you know, we can deal with Bosporus and places like that, so yeah. I'll, I'll move... Yeah, and then send, like, I don't know, once we get big enough, we can send a military force mm -hmm. to, in, to, into helping each other. Yeah, yeah, and then we can deal... Because what I'm thinking is that we could literally sort of push down 
Where is it? Why isn't it painting on the thing? Um, because you need to exit the strategic map mode, I trust. Oh, really? Well. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is that it could be a case of sort of coming down through here together. Oh, I see. Yeah. And then... Through the... Oh, I see, yeah. And yeah, work, that's a good idea. Work together. To mess with the Salukids, yeah. And well, we would then... The we inside. could then take the... Yeah. Yeah. Deal with the Salukids all the way down that way. Okay. And then obviously once we've thinking, done that... Sorry, you go first. Once we've done that, then obviously, and we're holding those areas, we've dealt with the Salukids, then I can obviously work with you to help you move up this way. Well, we could do it simultaneous. My, my, my thoughts were, if I, because what your, your faction basically is heavily infantry based, mm -hmm. and my faction has some really nice cavalry at the okay. later stages, so I was thinking we could sort of buff up each other's defences. If I make a force that's primarily cavalry based, mm -hmm. and you support me with the, you know, the whole units that's infantry based, yeah. and then I send a unit to support you, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, that makes so sense. So we have two, a, yeah, a dual army focusing at each, each ways. Yeah, that's cool with me, mate. And then, it, yeah. And then like a navy or two mm -hmm. to support and coastal assaults or whatnot. Yeah, that's fine with me. Let me check my current army. See how they're looking at the moment. So my most... immediate plan of action is to send my land force over the bridge to help you conquer Asia. And then start right. building up a navy. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Right. Hmm. So. Because right. it's been such a while since we've played, I've got to remember where my main recruitment area is now. Whoops. It'll be Hellas. Hellas is all one area, remember? You mm. want to specialise provinces, so maybe Hellas could be your army, mm. your land force province, and then, like, I don't know, yeah. Rhodes could be your navy province. Yeah, yeah, that could be a possibility. And then the others could be happiness and whatnot. And whatnot. Hop like happiness, food. Hoppiness. Hoppiness, hoppy lightiness. <laughs> economy based or whatever. Yeah, economy based hoppolites, yeah. Okay, um. Alright, that was a terrible joke and I should be ashamed of myself. <laughs> and I am indeed ashamed of myself. Well, we've still got these guys up on the Epid... Uh, the Ardai, who are up, sort of... What do you mean, these guys? Who's these, these guys, guys here, on here, just above yeah. Thracia. Yeah, yeah, Lyrica, yeah, that's where I'm going to send my land force. No, that's where I'm going to send my land force that I build up first. Okay, alright, so I'm just... What I'm wondering at the moment is the order in which I do things, or how I'm going to do these things. Um, so let's have a look. Because at the moment, what I think I'm going to do is we just leave things as they are. Hypno, they're good. They're going up in happiness, which is good. Um, hmm. I'm just wondering if it's worth... I think Pergamon's going to be the Let's check our... Right, so we can... I c I've got... Ro right, I'm going to do some trading to see if for I've got Senate anything. Part, okay. Get I some trading. Speak nope, the Romans don't want to trade with me because they're a bunch of provincial arseholes. Um, May Balhamun look kindly on our meeting this day. There you go, I'm trading with Carthage. Nice. Egypt. Let's see if these guys want to... Good emissary. Trad. Speak your part as though... Yes, they are now tradding with me. Good. Pontus. Welcome. I throw open the doors to you and bid you enjoy our... Nice, he says, I throw open the doors to you. But yeah, you're not going to accept a bloody trade agreement, though, are you, bunch of tosses? Right, well, let's met friend. Sit and let your words huh, My internal encyclopedia isn't working. Oh dear. What, does that I mean you don't actually know anything? Here well, it means that I can't find out what units this building fear. gives me. Oh right. Which, which, I want to know which sort of port to go for, because which one will benefit me in the long run, but it's not... Yeah, yeah, that's, that makes sense. Right, so there's the Bithnia. Let's trade I with these guys. Your reputation. Well, actually, I can do no. both. No, I, I've sorted it now. <laughs> What was the problem? Was it you? It was one of them. It seems to be that one of the one of the ports well, gives me sort of friend. siege Sit equipment on the boats, and the other gives me attack like na like uh, marine units. Mm -hmm. I didn't know which one to go for, which would benefit for in the, the long run. Maybe like maybe the, 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 the artillery one gave come. me some sort of really heavy unit at the end run or something. Fair deuce, fair deuce. But I can build. Right, both, I'm not so gonna. Um, right, Syracuse. Let's get some trade with them. I am honoured to receive this embassy, and. We'll 
They might be honoured to receive the embassy, but they're not honoured enough to give me some sodding trade. The Sardes, I'm just wondering if I should trade with them prior to breaking it off. Be you welcome reckon? here and speak as you wish mm, I don't without fear. Nah, I'm not going to. So, if I look at my numbers, my trade is looking okay, but my public order for Asia is going down by 17. So, it's because it's an incomplete area, isn't it? So, yeah, I will have to take um, Ephesus. Pergamon you will have to and the remainder of Asia, yeah. Yeah, to ensure that that's everything's okay. So, in the meantime, we are doing water sluicing. Yeah. Um, and then after that, we can build the Odeon so people can watch some films. Um, yeah. Okay. Thor 2's coming out soon. <laughs> oh, God. The populace will love it. Indeed, indeed. Although I hear, um, I hear, uh, what was it? Um, uh, I heard the funniest thing I ever heard is somebody said, when's there going to be a sequel to 300? It's like, they all died. <laughs> <laughs> there is a sequel to 300, isn't there, they're making now, though? Are they? Is that where, <laughs> yeah. is that where they all come back to? different characters. I would hope so, yeah, otherwise it would be a little bit of a defeated uh, situation, really, wouldn't it? It's supposed to be the aftermath of the, bottle, the Battle of Thermopylae. Oh, that's where, where, yeah, that would be very good, actually. Because that battle was uh, pretty intense, actually. 10,000 Spartans, 30,000 three Greeks, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so, and then it was like 200. Sorry, no, no, not the Battle of Thermopylae. No, that was the Battle of Plataea, my apologies. Oh. Is when, is when they kicked um, Darius' ass. Sorry, Xerxes' ass. Xerxes. Darius was yeah. his dad, wasn't it? Oh, I don't fucking know. I'll be honest. I'm not even going to be pretend to know. Mate, pretend to be intelligent. It's the only way you stand a chance. You asked me about the Roman Republic from the year 60 BC to 44, AD, 44 uh, BC. I know a bit about that. And if you ask me about the age of Augustus, I know about that. <laughs> oh, right. I see. Okay. But only within certain parameters. Yes. Okay. Well, that's all right. Of course, determined. <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, uh, there's a thing over here by Ephesus, right? Called the Friends of the Nerinides or Nerids, and I read that as the friend of the nerds, so I was like, okay, whatever. Right, so what's in Ephesus? So they got something in there. What, are you looking at their defensive buildings? Yeah. They've got four mob, two slingers. No, no, I'm just, I'm, I'm looking up. at Ephesus because they've got this thing, a oh, what, tower. Sort of, yeah, it'll probably be some natural wonder. You won't be able to find out it's Ephesus. But I can't, I can't see it at all now because Ephesus is not showing up on my little land tab thing. You mean the strategic view? Yeah, no, no, not the strategic view. You know the when you click on the region view. I don't know what you mean. Anyway. Anyway, screw that. Let's get let you, I, let's your turn to have a play. Shall we finish? Yes. I'm googling what the wonder is in Ephesus. Oh, Seleucids want a trade agreement with me. Mm. Mm, <sighs> counter offer. Oh, give me some money and I'll do it. I shall trade you your finest daughter for this sword. They rejected. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Here we go. All the wonders of Rome too. It's Ephesus. I've it's closed. the mausoleum of Morsolos. The mausoleum. mausoleum? Mausoleum of Halicarnassus. Oh, very nice. So that it doesn't be... tell me what the effects are. No, it didn't tell me either. No, but it, it tells me what the wonder is, but not the effects on the yeah. whatever I googled. That's helpful. Thank you. But also, to those of you watching, we have <coughs> splashed out, quite literally, on the blood pack for Rome yes. 2. So, the next battle you see will be rated mature or rated B <laughs> for bloody and uh, or and rated M for messy and for hopefully messy. <laughs> hopefully enjoy every glorious moment as plenty of gentlemen wield their choppers in battle let's see yeah it'll be good it'll be, it'll be beautiful poetry okay. in motion 
I think my next call of order will be to send my fleet back home. So currently, I'm still insignificant. It'll be when you get another province. I need to get another. I need to uh, hire a dignitary because I don't have a dignitary yet. I never use dignitaries at all. Oh, I got some money because I completed a thingy. Um, right, I can Hellenize this province now. Let us build a uh, artillery workshop. Yeah. And upgrade this one to. I need to get my Meadows. spy over to Asia as well. I don't want to upgrade that yet. Hmm. God, it costs so much, everything. Oh. No, please, it's it's expensive! I will build a military dock. There's it got a military wharf. This unlocks that. <laughs> no, actually, Sorry, I, as soon as you said military wharf, I just thought of next generation. Sorry. <laughs> God. <laughs> I can't help myself. The way my brain works when it works. Uh, I need to save money, but I don't want slums. I'll build some more food places. Build some, hire slums. some sluts instead of slums. Oh god! More fun. You can't get the staff, right? Build this, so I get some assaults units. Of course, you can't get the staff. Why do you think we're hiring sluts? <laughs> <laughs> You're awful. I am. Terrible. Terrible. Um, have I got any money left? I cannot convert this or this. Uh, diplomacy, see if I can get some trade agreements going. Nope, they don't want anything. The Etruscans, maybe they will. They want a trade agreement. The Etruscans want a trade agreement. Lovely. Hmm. I'm just going through the list at the minute and just sort of spamming. That was kind of obvious. Nope. It's a little bit laggy when you do it in multiplayer, which is a bit annoying. No pleasing some people. I always thought that the helmets the Spartans wore had it, you know, going front to back for the feathers rather than over the side, sort of like a rising sun thing. Sorry, you spoke at the same time as the fucking man in the corner. Say that again. Um. I always thought the Spartan helmets went to sort of front to back rather than side to side on the plumes on the top of the helmet. But I don't know, it must be some rank thing. But some of them do oh go front to back. Hmm. Carthage want a I mean, Libya want a trade agreement, that's good. I'm getting quite a few actually. Hmm. Syracuse, will they want one? I'm doing all right actually. Um, no, my trade income is quite small, unfortunately. It's only like 347 in comparison. My trade agreement, my trade income is now 602. Wow. You are the trade queen. You love it. <laughs> you love it, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and you call me bad. Uh, I want to smash that army before it annoys me. Water is on this. Cucumber smash. Wang smash! <laughs> Waiting for your decision, Chad. Hey. I don't see anything. Oh, it just automatically did it. Uh, I want to kill the captives. There kill them! Kill them all! Oh, they've got military tradition, that's nice. What, of killing captives? <laughs> that's uh, not really a military tradition you want for your army. men, they get a military tradition. Uh, just tell what... Oh, I can ambush. Oh, you dirty ambusher. Um, no, I'll go for stalwart defenders because that's the most useful. Ready, by far. It is very helpful, stalwart defenders. It's just any time you get attacks, basically you get a load of defensive bonuses. That's my agent. The uh, champion is still attached to the army. Um, oh, that was it. I was going to start recruiting to this force, wasn't I? Commander. I was going to start putting pikemen on this. It's all about the pikes. Well, the good news is the Heraclidae are pretty much back to full strength now. I think cool. what I might do is recruit some more Spartan hoplites or hoplites. Um, hoplites. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it's quite funny because I was I was um, looking around on the podcasts and I found some podcasts uh, from Yale University about ancient history and it was really good. And they call them hoplites, but then it is America, so... I don't I think, know. I don't know what the correct one is. It's probably one of those things where there's both right or both wrong. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's not like we can ask them. 
because they're all slightly dead. Excuse me, Mr. 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 Greek. <laughs> oh, uh, that's everything I can do this turn. How is that? that province done his bread and games? This one's tax collecting and turn. Right. Now we wait. The Adrician Kingdom has been destroyed. Factions to the wind. Trampled into the dust. Subject gains notoriety. I'm prosperous. Excellent. Eugenios. Who is... He requires attention. Yeah, we'll expand the mines. Expand them! Um, household expands. Along with my waistline, as you can see. Kermode's Admiral. You know, send him to the pool. Okay, so... Roads. I'm going to leave my guy in roads for the time being, because there's no reason to do anything there. Can I recruit anything other than no? I can just literally recruit Pericoy, Hoplites, and all that other funky stuff. So, let's have a look. Oh, I've just looked up what the, the wonder does. Apparently it lowers the building costs of all provinces. Ooh. All provinces... Just, it doesn't say how much, it just says it lowers it. All provinces everywhere. Well, everywhere, yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice thing to... Someone dug it out of the data files. It reads... Where's it gone? Building... Building, building cost, mod, this province, faction, all regions, minus three, is what it says. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I'm thinking of making Athens the place to um, get Spartan hoplites and citizen cavalry, because then I can mm -hmm. start having cav in, um, and then make Sparta the location for Helio, Helio, Helio archers. Hello. Heliot, mm -hmm. or Heliot, and Pericoi, Peltasts. Do it that way. I don't Sounds know. good. Citizen cavalry is the best cavalry you can get, isn't it? Is it? I think so. You don't get aspects. Right, doing that in cavalry. Athena then. Um, aside from that, I don't think there's anything else I can build yeah, at the, the moment because of my. Any cavalry units. Okay, what can I do with on, this army? Let's see, let's see. Can I? What units can I recruit here? Where did I get all my flipping? Um, Spartan Hoplites one. I can't remember. Do you start with them? You can't recruit more. Oh, right, okay. All right. You haven't unlocked the building to recruit them yet. I have not, Net, no. Ah, oh, hang on. I've got loads of Pericoi and another army here moving over to support those ones in Rhodes. So, I will. Hmm, okay. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. We're going to put them... I'm just going to just dock them in the Thenai for the time being and just leave them there. Right. Ready for orders. Uh, recruitment is continuing. Sorry, not recruitment. Uh, research. I've still got another two turns for that one. I'm not in a position to attack Pergamon, but what I will do is check to see how Pergamon feel about me. So they're currently neutral, we have cultural affinities, and we've got a treaty with Bithynia. So they're 15%, or 15, value. Um, and they were enemies of slaves. Wow, okay. Yeah, it's basically, whenever someone revolts, like one of the provinces, mm -hmm. they go at war with every single faction in the game. Oh wow, okay. A bit weird, so you're just randomly at, you're just randomly at war with slaves. Okay. Right, so that's okay. Sparta's doing all right. Um, Athena, fine. Can I do anything with Rhodes? Not at this current moment. I cannot build it to a Hellenistic Komai, whatever the hell that is. Right, okay. Hellenistic. Oh, you're lucky. You don't have to convert the the. Uh what do you call it? Culture of any of your provinces, do you? Yeah, that's true. Okay. So, is it Komai? No, that's a Klerg. The Desos was full of, like, uh, what do you call it? Gallic buildings. Gallic. Oh, right. Gallic. That's Gallic. A... Right. Okay. Hellenistic Hamlet. Hellenistic Village. Ah, Komai. Right, so it's plus 20 wealth for maritime, plus nine, 90 wealth for maritime commerce. 
plus two research rate for food minus public for order so because it's a um a fishmongers basically it's it's benefits to naval traditions and things of that nature around that area so that's fine so our next focus will be pergamon and we can't really do anything what i'm thinking is that actually you know what yeah i'll do that that army in the boat i'm actually going to send to yes. roads and get them to replace the army and then move the army from Rhodes up to Athens and then use that as a building area to then push on towards Pergamon when I'm ready. I think that's what I'm going to do there. You could just replenish. I'm, I'm marching my army south at the minute. Okay. I To yeah, be honest, in it's... The the, it'll be like two sta two full stacks of unit taken on Ephesus. Mm -hmm. Nice, so yeah. Well, it's up to you. I mean, I don't know, yeah. We'll see how it goes. I mean, this is the damn good army anyway, so... It's, yeah. I might be able to, I might see if I can after I've built the thing in Athens put two units of cavalry in here as well to add to its general true yes support well, you levels. Can just leave if you leave Ares dread in Athena mm -hmm. once the building's built you can recruit and just send them one one way you don't have to send them back then your orders mm. yeah screw it but the thing is I kind of wanted to raise an army in Rhodes to make sure that I didn't get any you've already got the 18 stack army sat there. No, no, what I meant is I was going to move that 18 stack army out and I wanted mm -hmm. to keep an army in there to maintain order. Ready for battle. Why don't you leave the army in Rhodes and then you see Ares Dread is in the sea on the border. Mm -hmm. Move them back to Athens and once you get the cavalry, recruit how many, how many, however many cavalry units you want, move them across, merge them with the Heracleidae in Rhodes and then you can move the cavalry units across. Yeah, yeah, we'll get it. Yeah, we'll look at we'll look at doing that. That sounds like a good plan. Because oh. the eighteen stack army will be much better at maintaining order than if you raise the force of one guy. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it made a funny noise that time, rather than the new normal one. Mine kind of made a bong. Hmm. Oh, Egypt's coming up and having a look at you. Yeah, they can bugger off. Oh no, they're going past. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! The Slavs are up to something. Oh no! Bithynia and Pergamum have formed an alliance. And the Etruscan League have cancelled my trade agreement. Oh, they've lost their settlement. But that'll be why then. Yeah. <sighs> so, kind of difficult to, you know have a trade when you've got no fort <laughs> or anything to trade with. Yeah, that's, that's true, I'll be honest. Why can't I change this, these guys from double time? Oh. It's telling me I can exchange units with with the same thing. What the f that makes no sense. I can exchange units with my with itself. So let's see if, if moving all the units into one army doubles it. No. No. Oh. That was buggy. I'll move my spy over to see what's going on over here. Uh, continue recruiting in these guys. Does that leave it at 18? might dissolve two of the units of hoplites. So then there's more space for the cavalry. And then keep recruiting pikes here. Alright then, slingers then. Uh, done. It's just building up at the minute. 
Alliance has been forged, yes, that you mentioned. Oh well, we just have to kill them both. Um, all that glitters. Words of the deposit. Mm -hmm. Spread quickly and the hills are swarming with people hoping to get rich ore deposits. Oh dear. Okay. Is that bad? Well, it is because some people in their hasty attempts to get to it, uh, the mine collapsed on them, so... Ha ha. The fools. What does it say the effect is like? Minus two uh, let's have a look. province happiness or something? All that glitters, there's no effect. Household expands? God damn it, man. What's wrong with household expands? It's just you can only have one person in the household. Yeah, I know, but then you can just, you can always change, move it around. If you press send to pull, you get a massive box. I do, yeah, I do. I do, I, ha I generally send them to pull. Right, I'm going to change it, uh, replace them for a guy who says minus five to corruption faction wide. What? Okay. Okay. I have encountered Libya, and I've gained a trait, drill master, for Leonidas, my hero. So let's look for Libya. How do they feel about us? They're culturally averse to me. Come, my friend, speak. We are oh. men of words. And they accepted my trade offer. So there we go. So, let's have a look at this details here. Heptnia, yeah, there are 100 happiness. Corruption is going down. Yeah, that province is being taxed. I'm pretty sure I set it so that one province wasn't being taxed. No. Let's see. No, nope, that's all fine. Okie cokey. Fleet reporting. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Report. Docking. Fleet reporting. Yeah, whatever. Fleet reporting. Right. So Sparta means. So these guys. Where are they? They're doing that one. And so I'll do that one. Here we go. Okay. Ah. <sighs> There's nothing really else I can do at the moment. At your command. My army is fully restored. I will end the turn. Cool, cool. It seems to be a lot faster than when we last played. Indeed it does, yes. Which is nice. And the performance seems to be slightly better. For me, anyway. Our merchants seek prosperity in your lands. Yours could do the it's same. It's been about four patches since the last Will you agree to this? Oh. I wonder if uh, the addition of the Seleucids and the nomadic tribes. Oh, um, the Sumerians want a, um, a trade agreement. Trade agreement, yes. So we'll have Accept that. Accept it. Go for it. I have done. I just had to think. I said, go for it now. Ooh, Syracuse is still at war with Carthage, and uh, Carthage is fighting back now. Oh. Let's recaptured Lily Bayham. Oh my god, alliances everywhere. I don't know who those two factions are, though. Uh, I've researched something. My unit has gained experience. The name of your subject... Da -da -da -da. What? One of my guys has caused a minus 15% wealth from agriculture and livestock buildings. Brilliant. Wow, he's good. I've recruited six units of slingers. Hey, my hero's gained more experience per turn for, like, training. Um, and then I will move these guys back into Macedon so I can train some cavalry. And he has a rank up, which is cool. That one. Pardon me, excuse me. Uh, one of your magistrates is claiming that his lands are barren. The harvest has failed, and the farmers worry the same will happen next year if nothing is done. Fertilize, irrigate, pray to the gods, or do nothing. Hmm. 
I will try irrigating. Because I have no idea what the correct thing to do is. And I will recruit, no, re research marine training so that I can get the better docks, which are still under construction. That's annoying. And I will recruit. Uh, one, two. How many do they need? Four units of citizen cavalry. I think. No, one unit of slingers, that was it. Um, God, I've lost track of what I was doing now already. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I think. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think, yes. Okay, um, I still got a little bit of money, so maybe I'll be able to do some building stuff. No, can't afford it. No, can't afford it. I guess I'll keep that in the bank. Can these guys... Oh, I can change them off double time now, thank God. Normal stance. I don't want to just recruit more slingers. I will change who is the general of this army, because it's annoying me. Because I don't want them to be archers anymore. You can, whatever, you. Uh, Royal Peltasts, Archers, or Archers. <coughs> That's annoying. Archers, Archers, or Archers? I can go for a heavy tower, which apparently looks very pretty, so I'll go for that. So a very, a very decked out ship, apparently. Right, end turn. You've got your ship together. <sighs> oh, God. It never ends. The jokes, they never end. <laughs> Aha! Can you attack something, Chad? I think our viewers are getting bored. Sorry? Can you attack something? I think our viewers are getting bored, even yeah. if it's a suicide attack. Oh, thank you. Oh. The Bastonae. I wonder if they become the Bastards eventually. Um, do you think Bastards come from Bastonae? You think that's where it comes Maybe. from? <laughs> that's plausible. Hellenic Village Marble. There we go. So my Spartan area is improving. Ooh. This is fantastic. And then I can start having a population surplus. Wonderful. I need architectural advances. Right, what's next on the... So we've done slew slewising. Uh, what else can we do? Plus three world from agriculture, plus three world from commercial buildings, plus two tariff. I'm beginning to wonder if we should start building siege engines. What do you think, mate? What? What, you mean the, like, ballista and stuff? Mm-hmm. It's, it's useful to have, like, if you have um, an attacking force, generally when I play my campaigns I have two armies that sort of assist each other, and one of them has a couple of units of ballista. Mm. They're useful for breaking down walls, because you can just sit miles away. But at the minute, it's not really necessary. Okay. Maybe build it in one of the built in one of the uh, settlements you capture in uh, yeah. Asia. It costs a lot. One thousand six hundred to build. Right, so I could build practice camp, or a flipping. Hmm. Don't forget to recruit the cavalry or whatever it was you wanted to do. Yeah, yeah, I haven't forgotten, mate. I might do the land management just to get uh, some more wealth from agricultural regions. That's now been done, or at least I thought it had. There we go, now it's been done. And the household expands. Plus five... General Galenios Pirate. Yeah, let's place that. Okay. Money is not looking too bad. However, if I look on research for buildings... Yeah, it's going to have to be... I'm still at least eight turns away from increasing the size of the towns, generally.
Yeah, can't do that. Let's check Knossos. Down here. <laughs> Let's build that. And let's check out Rhodes. Rhodes. Indeedy. Let's look at there. Mm -hmm. Culture. Hellenic, 100% good. Okay. I need to send my spy and weigh the balls by Apollonia over to here somewhere. My work is done. Okay, let's leave her there. If I'm right thinking, I've still got, yeah, I've still got one before I can recruit Commander. Clippity Clops. Perhaps take them out of the ship stance and maybe put them on land. Take what out of the ship? Know. I don't think, because you've got Ares Dread is in the port rather than on land. I don't know if you're able to recruit on the port, it might be annoying. No, no, I'm not recruiting on them at the moment. I'm, we hunger I'm, I'm, uh, Agamemnon's pride is actually in Athenae at the moment. <laughs> so, I'm just seeing if I can recruit Commander. on them. So I can recruit Periquet, Heplites, Spears, Helot Slayers. Yeah, can't do much with them at the moment. I might as well save me money, to be honest. Oh look, Alexandria. Your spy's already sniffing around in Pegamon, thank you. Yeah. That's a pretty nice stacked army though, isn't it? Ooh, 18 out of 20, ouch. But they're all levies, they're all militia hoplites. Are they? Okay. okay. It's just militia hoplites and slingers. It's a really rubbish army. Oh yeah, I was just thinking, um, I keep forgetting to tell you, remember how you keep referring to the Celtic the Celtic use in your Barbarian campaign? Mm-hmm. Um, basically, you were a youth, if um, you hadn't killed a man, you were considered a youth. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. So that's why, they can, that's why they killed youths, I think. I think it was that. Interesting. I don't want to, I don't want to non, the, the um, people in Illyrica keep trying to give me a non-aggression pact and I keep refusing. Mm-hmm. Maybe they, maybe you should form an indifference pact with them instead. <laughs> we, could form, we could form a give me your lands pact. Yeah. Welcome to the land of meh. Give. Yeah, I had that in my Rome campaign. The people in uh, Corsica kept trying to give me a uh, non-aggression pact. It's like, I don't want a non-aggression pact with you, I want to attack you. <laughs> and I eventually did, so... Faction destroyed the Etruscan League. Oh, that means Carthage may have in gone up from uh, where I they think, were. No, Rome. Rome has completely smashed the, ca the crap out of them. Oh right, okay. Rome has got um, Sardinia. I think it is. Is it? No, Corsica. Sorry. Really? I thought Corsica was. Oh no, yeah, Corsica. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. That's where uh, Napoleon was born, isn't it? I think he was Corsican. I'm not sure. I know he went, ended up in the island of Elba, and I have no idea where the hell that is. Ooh. Improving the land's irrigation systems improved the quality of the soil, and the farmers brought in a bumper harvest this year. Plus five food, all provinces. Flipping it, that's a lot. That's a shitload of food. So now <laughs> you're going to have a beast soldiers who won't be able to, like, struggling for breath as they get into the battle. Is <laughs> I can recruit um, naval units. Hurrah! No, no, I can't. What? You told me if I built this, I could unlock assault diarrheas. So it's assault diarrheas? Do, do oh, you, oh God. No, no, no. Oh, I've got... Apollonia, I need to sail around. I was about to say they sound like a shit unit, but never mind. Oh, kill yeah. me. Kill me. <laughs> oh, I'd be happy to. Kill me. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh. 
that was it. I was going to merge these two units. I've got too many slingers. Um, give them them. I will take the companion cavalry back. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Give me two seconds. I just want to check something. One, two. You're a dick. You're a complete dick sometimes. <laughs> Shut up. Yes, boss. Um, uh, oh, spy, that was it. Let's have a look at Ephesus. Ephesus. They have nothing. Now would be a good time to attack with that 18 stack. They only have the 4 stack navy, and their defense consists of a mob. Just, just mobs and slingers. You could honestly take that city with no effort at all. Okay. Let's uh, have a look. Sabotage. Have a look. They have the Hellenistic capital, a port, an amphitheatre, and a, a military field. I'll see if I can have a go at do something to their army. No. I will move further in and see if they've got any military units there. Oh, they have a small army there that is weak as hell as well. Yeah, you could definitely take that settlement. Is this Pergamon, yeah? Yeah, no, um, Ephesus. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, look, you can see the armies. Oh, Jesus Christ, the, there's nothing! The navy is just four units that are all ranged. Their defence involves mob and then ranged units. And then this army here is just two cavalry units and one weak, hop, one weak pikeman unit that would arrive late to the battle anyway. If you attack by sea, mm -hmm. you can land quite a few units within the city walls and just cap the centre and then just rush the walls or whatever. Looks like it, yeah. Anyway, I'll leave it up to you. I'll end the turn. Okay. Increased in rank, Leonidas, now level four. Construction complete. Oh, a city horse barracks. The populace of Asia are encouraged. No, they're not. They're indifferent. They won't be indifferent for long, that's for sure. Okay. Now, the question is, do I have to declare war against the Theseus before I attack him? Right click, and it will say, if you can make... Yeah, it will say, do you want to attack? And then you declare war, and they move. Finding shelter. The sea beckons. Are you going by land? I are now trespassing. Trespassing Action this turn command. and the next turn you can just completely maul the city. Oh, I see you're bringing in Ares Dread as well. Mm -hmm. yes. Good man. We'll see some action. Yeah. Commander. And you'll, you guys will see the action next week. <laughs> this week has been a moment pretty boring. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, that has been the case, guys. Sorry about that. But, uh, you know, this is the build-up. The build-up to eventual blood and gore and... All that kind of funky good stuff, the and, and they never got to bloody see it. Yeah, I know, I know. The, that was like that's going to come back and haunt me forever. But never mind. Anyway, guys, we'll see you on the next episode of the Grecian campaign. We'll see you next time. See you next time.